Hey up lads and lasses, Dan Fire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Today, as you can see behind me, we have got the tier maker and we've got the carriers. Now, subject to one carrier, carrier that's actually going to change on the 6th ever so slightly. Uh, the rest stay the same, so I am going to do these now before the fighters and corvettes come out next week. Um, and then next week I will be doing a review on the, well, I'll be doing a tier on the fighters and corvettes after I get a little bit of testing in uh, to see what they can do and how good this system damage effect is going to take. Uh, other than that, if you are playing on PC, do check out the overview I just did of all the features coming for uh, Falling Frontier. Really cool looking game. Uh, that's for PC only, unfortunately. I know a lot of you guys are mobile players, uh, mobile phones and mobile devices in general, so a little less uh, useful for you guys. But if you're on PC, definitely check it out. It looks like it's going to be a pretty wicked RTS game, to say the least. Without further ado, let's jump into this. So, we're going to do this the same way as I did the Battle Cruisers. I'm going to do a ranking with them unmodded, and then I'll do again a ranking with them modded. Uh, the reason for this is because they vary pretty wildly on their capabilities uh, and how useful they are. So, CV3K unmodded is actually pretty damn good. You're getting a load of fighters, uh, large as well, uh, and your only other large carriers at this point in time will be the KCCV uh, craft uh, variant. So any of these that have large hangers are great because it allows you to bring in the bombers and the likes of your really high damage fighters, basically. Vetus Bs uh, are fantastic. So with that, and it's carrying in three Corvettes, uh, it's probably the best carrier unmodded now the solar whale has got better tank better armor but it's also slow as well it's just damn slow uh but the cv3k on the other hand pretty quick it'll keep up with cruiser fleets pretty easily and i throw these on reinforcement into my frigate destroyer fleets just to boost the anti-aircraft capability and um yeah Really, really good. The extra three Corvettes definitely make up for the uh, damage as well. It's really nice. Uh, and it's just got uh, the ability to just carry in like a nice variety of uh, aircraft that the Marshall Crooks and the Solar Whale cannot do. So the Marshall Crooks unmodded is going to be an A. I do think the CV3K unmodded is better than the Marshall Crooks. It's just how it is. Um, yeah, it's bringing in a pretty solid ion uh, laser weapon, which is fantastic, but it is only bringing in, uh, I believe, six large aircraft. So the CV3K has just got it beat out because the Corvettes can probably do more damage than those ion uh, laser can anyway on modded. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, uh, I think the Marshall Crooks will be in A on modded. Solar Whale is going to be, it's only bringing in six vets. Um, and personally, I think that's not particularly great. No large hangers or anything like that on modded. And I think that really actually hurts it because you can bring vets in on AC721s uh, and you get AC721, the, uh, the Corvette carrier, for free. So I just think they're better at bringing in Corvettes and the Solar Whale uh, when you first get the Solar Whale anyway. Obviously with tech points and other stuff it's going to be considerably better uh, but that's where I think it is at the current moment. So let's reset and let's talk about the modded. Now modded the CV3K can carry up to 11 fighters and Corvettes, that's 6 Corvettes and uh, 5 heavy uh, yeah, five large fighters. I keep calling them heavy fighters. I have no idea why. Um, so five large fighters, six vets. It's 11 in total. It's actually really nice. Other mods on here can include dropping three vets and carrying in um, five squadrons of UAVs that deal system damage. And this is the one that will change in, this, uh, in the update on the 6th. Um, and that's due to the fact they are getting uh, potentially stronger, considerably. 
because uh, they're only going to go for weapon systems and they're just going to run around nuking weapon systems. They're untargetable. They're just going to keep dealing the damage you know, straight away, no issue whatsoever. So I think they're going to be really good. Uh, and I actually think maybe losing your three vets for the ability to take on uh, five squadrons or five UAVs is going to be quite nice. And I think that's actually going to give it a significant boost to its damage output, its ability to be uh, reliable in your fleet. It's also pretty damn fast. It's still faster than Solar Whale. And yeah, I think it's going to remain, it's going to drop down to, no, it's not. I was going to stay in S tier. I still think it's probably the most versatile of the um, of all of the carriers. Now the Marshall Crooks loses versatility and it, well, it gains versatility obviously uh, with mods, but over the CV3K it loses that versatility, but it does gain its capability to have a giant weapon in play. Now I've seen these maxed out already um, on my server and they are dishing out considerably good damage for what they are. The problem really is, is to get the most out of them. You do want to be running um, the energy upgrade system on it. It comes with it as standard and it upgrades uh, Antonios uh, ships. So Antonios aircraft, that includes Vetus A's, Vetus B's. So as a carrier that's specifically carrying the likes of Vetus B's and the Vetus A's and its medium hangars, it's actually really good, like really, really good. 15% flat boost, fantastic. You'll take that any day of the week on top of the fact that, you know, you're adding even more damage with the mods that you can put on and stuff like that. And it's bringing an eye on uh, laser in with it. So it's, it's no, it's not shy of dealing the damage out itself. Plus it's bringing in the highest damaging aircraft, giving them a boost. So, it is really good. Unfortunately, it loses the versatility because I don't believe it's anywhere near as good as a CV-3K for carrying in Stingrays or literally any other aircraft that isn't Antonios. It loses this, uh, that ability. So that being said, you probably run like maybe two of them and then three CV-3Ks as a you know, reinforcement. They're the same speed, so you can do that quite nicely. And I think that's why I'm going to put them in A. And again, it's mostly just due to the fact that it loses a bit of versatility over the CV3K. And carriers are a force multiplier. And the force multiplier is mostly due to the versatility of what they can bring in. And, you know, losing that decreases the uh, their capabilities a little bit, in my opinion. Again, like I said, they are dishing out considerably huge amounts of damage. Um, with Vetus Bs, they're absolutely absurd in comparison to a CV3K, but, you know, putting Stingrays on it hurts it a little bit. Um, that being said, you know, it's only two fighters less than what the CV3K, but it can't bring in Corvettes, unfortunately. You can't have Corvettes and Bombers. Uh, it's kind of limited there. So, unfortunately, my cat's attacking me. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty good. But definitely recommend the CV3K, I think, modded over the Marshall Crooks. However, if you are planning on only running Antonius aircraft, the Marshall Crooks will absolutely be your best in slot. Uh, it's also the best looking ship in the game. Uh, I love the Marshall Crooks. It, looks awesome i keep looking at it um anyway the solar whale i'm also going to put in uh a tier and it's mostly because of its movement speed it becomes to a point where things like the st-59s and the solar whales because they are so so slow you really don't like running them in fleets and it limits the fleet's versatility as soon as you put those in you know you got an issue uh, with being able to maybe attack targets because they're just going to run away or anything like that, which is a shame because this is potentially the most versatile of 
you know, all of the carriers, and it's due to the fact that it carries 16 aircraft. It just carries an absurd amount of aircraft. And if you can, you know, fill these up and have five of them, you're looking at, like, incredible amount of aircraft for fantastic tanks on them as well. And they do really, really good. Unfortunately, I think that slowness brings them down a peg for me. Uh, so I will put them in the, the low end of A, but again, I think they are probably, they, they are really up there, especially if you're on the defensive. If you're on the defensive being attacked and you're just using your fleets to try and block people and block fleets out, the Solar Whale is going to be your best bet for certain. But on the offensive, I think the CV3K or the Marshall Crooks will easily outdo it. And uh, that's, yeah. I think that's where I'm going to go with that. So there you go. Hope you find that useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. The algorithm loves it. Uh, and tell me what you think in the comments. I, this is quite a difficult one because, again, like I said, the Solar Whale, you know, 16 aircraft. The CV3K can only carry 11, and the Marshall Crooks only nine at most. So it's a bit difficult, really, uh, to judge these in like a straight linear tier like this because they do just have their places in certain situations all of them like the marshall crooks is fantastic it's probably one of the it's probably the best carry if you only plan on using antonios um aircraft but you're limited and there is only so many antonius aircraft you can put on it and you can't fill them uh if you're using only antonius aircraft and then the two extra fighters that you can bring in with a cv3k or in the case of the Solar Whale, the seven extra fighters and aircraft you can bring in you just can potentially out damage its ion uh, cannon. So yeah, and its second weapon is a railgun. It's about the same as the uh, the Connemara, so it's not particularly great, unfortunately. So you will be running the the laser on it for certain. Anyway, there you go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time.